You must have all seen figs or anjeer. They grow across the world, even in parts of India like in Pune. They are easily available in markets. But what if I tell you that you don't have to go to the market to buy them? You can easily go to a neighborhood park. You can find country figs there. They have the same benefits as the normal anjeer. So let me show you how easy it is to find a country fig around you. We are in a park in Delhi. The local variety of fig is called country figs. It's not as sweet as the one that is available in the market. In northern India, it is called the gula. And trees are present everywhere across. If you know how to recognize a tree, you can just find it anywhere. So this is a gula tree. These round things that you see are inflorescences. So one of the easiest ways of recognizing this tree is that the inflorescences grow right on the trunk. The stem is very short. So that's an easy way of recognizing it. Let me take one to show you what it looks like. These inflorescences are a perfect example of symbiosis between insects and plants. If you see these little opening at the bottom of the flower, insects can go in from here, they can lay eggs there, they complete their life cycles inside and once the fruit is mature, it comes out. I will cut one of them and show you how it looks like. So I have cut this flower. You can see little florets inside. Uh, the wasp can enter from here. There's space inside where it can live its whole life. So why should we eat gula? It's healthy, it's nutritious. It's got lots of fiber, which is good for the stomach. It treats diseases like diarrhea. And modern research shows that it lowers the cholesterol level in the blood. So the country fig is not very sweet. So like figs, it's not dried and sold in markets. But you can easily take these flowers and cook a vegetable at home. We'll show you how to make one of these recipes. So we will cook gula ka chokha for you. 